boy with autism refuses to sit for haircut. What Barbara does instead will melt your heart. Lying down on the job is something we might dream of, but, for this Canadian barber, it is not unheard of. Cutting hair for kids with autism, this barber sometimes finds himself cutting hair while lying on the floor. A mother managed to capture it in a photo and it went viral. Franz Jacob from Rouen, Quebec, encourages parents with autistic kids to bring them to his barber shop for their haircuts. Some hairdressers refuse to cut hair for kids with autism, as they are afraid of the reaction such children may have to having their hair touched. It can be very traumatic and not a simple thing for autistic kids. Six-year-old Wyatt is both hypo and hypersensitive. Wyatt's mother, Fauve Lafreniere, refers to Jacob as an everyday hero. He takes care of everything, and I don't even get involved, she said, according to CBC News. It takes a load off my shoulders. Jacob shared, I understood that with Wyatt I have to follow him around the salon with my tools to finish the cut. My shop is completely vintage. All the walls are jammed with photos and stuff from around here. I think that has a positive effect on the kids. Each time I'm doing it there are no tears, no screams. We enjoy it together. I think the atmosphere of the barber shop helps a lot. I really take my time doing it. I can take up to 90 minutes cutting hair for kids with special needs. Lafreniere added, usually hairdressers sort of panicked when they saw Wyatt arrive, so it was really exceptional to meet Mr. Jacob. He welcomes him like his best friend. To see that he accepts these differences is just fantastic. She has been bringing her son to Jacob for the last few years, and a picture she took of the barber trimming her son's hair as both were lying on the floor went viral on social media. Not only does Jacob cut hair for special needs kids, but also for people who have a terminal illness. When you shave someone who is probably going to die within 48 hours, it's indescribable, said Jacob. Everyone is crying, it's really something. I'm really proud to be doing all this. He added, I have a line each morning out my door. People drive three or four hours. I'm taking great pride in what I'm doing in my community. Here is a man with a compassionate heart expressed through his profession, who's willing to go that extra step to offer his services to others, to others.